So as you know, Whole Foods is in fact being bought up by Amazon, and that means on day one, on Monday, they say prices are going to start dropping on prices up and down the aisle in Whole Foods. And guess what? That may just be the beginning of changes to come in the near future. Taking its virtual shopping cart into the supermarket aisle, Amazon is helping Whole Foods shed its whole paycheck reputation. The out-of-the-box retailer announced on Monday it will begin delivering discounts at Whole Foods on everything from organic avocados and eggs to baby kale and almond butter. I'm thrilled because the prices here are outrageous. And Amazon says there's more to come. Its popular Amazon Prime service, which almost half of American households already have, will replace Whole Foods' current customer rewards program, promising Prime's more than 50 million subscribers special savings at Whole Foods. Amazon, in a statement saying, we're determined to make healthy and organic food affordable for everyone. Whole Foods CEO adding, by working together with Amazon and integrating in several key areas, we can lower prices and reach more people. We shop at Whole Foods like once a week, so this is going to make a tremendous difference. But not everyone's happy. The stocks of grocery giants Kroger, Walmart, and Costco all fell Thursday on news of the sale going through. Just the latest move for Amazon, which is already taking a bite out of popular home meal kit businesses like Blue Apron and grocery delivery services like Peapod. The Amazon Whole Foods combination really indicates that the world of retail is changing. Amazon's appetite for, for growth, for domination, is basically unquenchable. Now, with 460 plus Whole Foods stores, Amazon plans to add lockers to let customers pick up packages. Alexa, and soon you could order your favorite Whole Foods products like this. Alexa, what are your deals? But Amazon insists Whole Foods quality won't fall with its new lower prices, saying the high-end grocery chain won't compromise its long-held commitment to the highest standards. So Amazon also saying it has no plans to replace the cashiers at Whole Foods with kiosks. Instead, it plans to grow profits by dropping prices, but attracting even more customers and new customers into Whole Foods stores. Matt, back to you. All right, Tom, it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.